As if in her heart there was an altar, burnt brown by the passing of white egrets, faster than the seasons, she knelt every morning before an imaginary plaque and touched her head thrice gently to the ground. This done, she would straighten her samfu and remember the fire. As a child, inhaling air milky with her incense, imitating reverence in a gesture that eventually became my first somersault. I watched this silent cycle from the crib of not knowing, half afraid that she would somehow forget and not rise from the ground. Later, I grew convinced that these childhood oblations taught me much of what I knew about age and daily endings. I also learned that her prayers were for neither her nor us, and hence needed no God but for her hands that kept us, her feet that carried us, her mouth that taught us, and her eyes that wept for us, gems glistening in the light of a different kind of worship.